Okay, this video is to illustrate how to adjust the clutch that provides tension for the ribbon take-up spindle for a Zebra XI series. Um, if you're getting a symptom where the ribbon that comes over the top here is not getting pulled up uh, and, and if it's not gathering the ribbon here with enough tension and keeping this section of the ribbon taut, what you may have to do is uh, get into the uh, inside of the spindle here and you have to use two hands on this. I'm going to just kind of get in show you where you there's a button there that you have to press on the top and on the bottom so I'm going to do that quickly here. Okay, so I've loosened that up so I had to pull up, you can see there's a little tab there that I had to press on both sides to get that to loosen up to come out. And it just go, that just snaps right in the same way, but you do have to make sure that these two crescent shaped uh, tips are fitting into the holes properly, otherwise this won't slide all the way on. So when you're pushing, putting it back in, make sure those are lining into those holes. Um, now in here you'll see there's a, a nut that can be adjusted. Um, sometimes all it takes is a quarter of a turn. Uh, you can try it in small increments, but basically uh, you need to get some sort of a, uh, you know, if you have a socket set, that's so much the better, or if you can get like even something like this on there and you can turn that nut. Now you see when I go to turn that, what happens is the inside, everything wants to turn and the nut won't turn on its own. So what you need to do is there's a section here in this cylinder where you go ahead and you insert kind of a locking pin and you turn the shaft until you, you turn this area until uh, this thing drops into the hole underneath so uh, there you can see I've got that so it dropped in a little bit deeper um, so sometimes you have to kind of play with that a little bit but that's kind of like a locking pin so that when you then go to turn this you can get bite on that and get that to actually turn relative to the shaft. So basically what you're doing there is you're tightening a clutch inside here that's got a spring on the other side here. You just want to tighten that nut maybe a quarter of a turn. Uh, it's usually enough to give you a little bit more tension on the pull-up side here. Now there are limits to at some point this shaft uh, and the clutch in here does need replacement. Uh, but you can usually get by for quite a while just on making adjustments on it. Now, the unwind side, naturally the take-up of the ribbon, of the wasted ribbon material here, uh, the ability to do that and the clutch slipping here is only going to be as good as this unwind um, for the ribbon, fresh ribbon supply, or the ribbon supply spindle. Uh, so, now if this isn't providing enough back tension and you're getting loose slacking in this area then sometimes you have to make a slight adjustment to tighten this nut slightly and that will actually increase the amount of back pull that uh, that will main, maintain on the ribbon as it's unwinding and feeding off. Uh, if you're getting too much uh, resistance by this shaft then you may need to loosen this nut but that can also be a sign that this little shaft here uh, needs to be replaced and that's not a, a major service thing in fact in some cases you can do that yourself um, by loosening three bolts on the other side of the wall of the printer here so um, so then once you've made the adjustment go ahead and take the um, cap slide it on and sometimes I need two hands to be able to do some of these operations here but uh, so make sure those points are lined up. Don't force those in. Just make sure they're lined up with the holes and that'll snap in. So all I've done is just made it so it snaps into that little hole there. So, so basically the idea is take this cap off, tighten the nut underneath, use the locking pin and you'll feel that drop in when you get this. Just move it back and forth until you feel it drop into the inner shaft inside to lock that. Um, and that's to, again, make sure that this is pulling up and not slipping too much uh, with the clutch inside. Thanks. Bye-bye.